Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca from The Brainery. Today we're going to talk to you about the Kubo coding robot um, that is available um, in its physical form complete, completely computerless. So um, Kubo comes with the physical map, the Kubo coding robot and um, the starter kit with tag tiles. All of this is in the starter kit. So Kubo also has an online educational platform that can help you virtually code with Kubo. It also has a lot of different lesson plans and resources available to students and teachers to help teach coding principles and is very, very useful. So this is all available in the starter kit and there also are Coding Plus and Coding Plus Plus packs for more advanced coding users. I'll just go through the starter pack coding tiles. You get a little pack that has three different sections. In the top first section, there has the Kubo robot head, which attaches magnetically to the body in one direction. Um, 14 straight tag tiles, your right and left, um, six of each, and these all have an RFID chip on the back, which is what it uses to code. So it code, codes um, according to the directions on the front of the tile. So you use these to make routes uh, of Kubo getting from A to B, and you can also express them in functions which need a straight line. So you've got your open and closed brackets and the directions in between. And then after you've run Kubo over this to code this function, you can simply replace the play tile and it will repeat the corresponding route within that straight line function. And these ones are in the second tab. Here's your open and close bracket for your functions. There is red ones and blue ones, which just means you can code two different functions. And there is corresponding play tiles that you just place on your map. Third tab has got the ability to use uh, repeats. So if your Kubo was doing four straights in a row, you would, you could put four straight tiles down, but if you want to perform more complex functions, um, it's probably better to incorporate this repeat um, in your bracket. So you would put the open bracket down and then preceding this tile, you would put the direction. So if you wanted Kubo to go straight, you would put the open bracket, um, the green straight tile, then this, and then here it has um, one to nine, and you can put, say if you wanted him to move three times, you would put this inside the little bracket, and then you would need to close that as well with, with this tile. So they're all clipped together very well um, and they're quite robust and there is replaceable tags available if you ever lose one. So this is Kubo's map. Um, you've got a different grid from A to J and 1 to 10. Each square is 4 by 4 centimetres and can basically be recreated into your own map. So you just draw a grid on however large paper you would like, 4 by 4 centimetres, and then you can feel free to do any artwork over the top and um, story tell um, a different journey for Kubo. So in this one we have um, a road with a bus and a bus stop. There's a lolly shop, bakery, car park, um, and Kubo's got some crossings there, which um, within the storytelling um, coding plus pack, you can increase Kubo's speed so he can 
go over to the to the side of the road, turn right, turn left, and then quickly zoom across. Um, up here we have got our school, playground, the campfire, and the Kubo flag. So you can bring any storytelling elements into this with your Kubo. You can direct him from anywhere you wish. You can simply use the B, B1 and, and the grid um, denominations, or you can simply say, um, bring Kubo from the lolly shop, take him for a run across the road and up towards the school and campfire and have him capture the flag at the end. So it's up to you based on what you want to do with him. So today's video has been about Kubo coding robot. I hope you liked the video and it gave you a further explanation of what Kubo can do. There are so many more lesson plans and ideas to incorporate Kubo into your classroom or libraries. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe. And if you wish to see any more content like this, please put a comment in the section below and we'll see you next time. Bye.